With the Canadian Grand Prix just around the corner, I wanted to see if I could be the first to the checkered flag driving as the only Canadian born driver on the grid in F124, so let's get right into it. Stroll, Latifi, both Gilles and Jack, the four Canadian point scorers here. It is a favorite of the F1 calendar. Welcome to Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. Two point seven mile circuit, peaking at around one hundred and ninety miles per hour. Two DRS zones, fourteen turns, tight corners, a narrow track, and the famous Wall of Champions. And that's five red lights, and we are go. And we're going to get a pretty good start right here. We're going to go to the inside, go past Norris, then we're going to go past Verstappen and Perez, but Perez is going to get a better exit on us as he took it a little bit more to the inside than us. And we're going to stick to the outside. We're going to just go right next to Perez right here, almost making contact with each other in a couple points. And he is going to go far to the inside, and we are going to sling past him and try to catch these Ferraris who are already starting to get a pretty decent gap on us. Lap two here and we got the Red Bulls hot on our tail with Perez going past us and we're just going to get behind him, get in his slipstream and see if we can make a move on him here pretty soon. I know we're going to have DRS coming up, so that could be a really good opportunity for us maybe to take our place back. Alright, we got DRS, we're going to get behind him, build up that momentum, and we're just going to fly past him. This is probably going to be a reoccurring thing, I got a feeling, but hey, we got our place back for now. now on lap 4, we're going to see Leclerc have a lock up in front of us, and this is going to give us a good opportunity to make up a lot of time here on these Ferraris. And now, I'm even going to get a little bit too excited, and I'm going to almost spin it out right there, but we saved it thankfully, and we still made up some good time on Leclerc, so we're going to try to catch him. We are on lap 8 now and we've decreased that gap to Leclerc by quite a bit and we are hot on his tail but he just keeps speeding away from us in these straights and in some of these corners he's taken a lot better than us but maybe when we get our pit stop in maybe that will change some things up and get in these new tires and who knows, who knows what can happen. We're about to come in for our pit, and we just almost thought about maybe not taking it and going past him there, but I decided we better just go in for our pit right now and get some new tires. So we're going to try to turn in at the perfect time here, and we are going to get an optimal estimated stop time, which is always good. Get our new hard tires in and go. And we are not going to pass one of the Ferraris here, so that is not very good, but I mean, it's kind of expected at this point. So now we've got Verstappen really hot on our tail and he is just keeping up with us like crazy, just ready to pass us, going on the straight here. I've already got a feeling he's going to try to pass me, so I'm going to kind of go to the inside here and block him a little bit, but that's also going to send me a little wide, surprised I didn't get track limits there. But now Verstappen is going to get a little bit better of an exit on that corner back there and he's going to go past us here for a second, but we are going to send it to the inside here and almost make contact with him, which I'm sure he was not happy about. But that's a typical stroll thing to do right there. And we are still ahead of him. But he is about to get DRS, so he is going to fly past us. 
Then Verstappen is going to cut this corner like crazy. I'm surprised the AI can get away with doing that. Maybe I was in a position where I kind of forced him there, but I'm not sure if that's the case here. Now we got Checo and Leclerc coming out from their pit stop, and we're almost going to make contact with Leclerc right there. And we're just going to get on the throttle here and try to stay ahead of him. And we are not able to do so. We're going to sling it way too far on the inside right there. Definitely could have done better. So now we're going to try to catch Leclerc and Verstappen. It's definitely seeming like this is going to be a pretty difficult race to, to win, but we're just going to keep trying. Coming up the chicane here, we're going to break a little late. We were pretty close to making contact with them there, but we managed not to do so. And we're about to get DRS, so I think this could be a really good passing opportunity for us. And now we just decided to full send it and just dive bomb and get past Leclerc finally and continue our race. And ahead of us here, we got the two Red Bulls just not wanting to let one or another pass each other. And they're actually even going to slow us down from that. And right now I'm just like, I don't know what to do, I guess. <laughs> Wait until one finally passes another, but they're just going side by side. And we're almost going to make contact with Verstappen. And oh, and we are going to make contact with him. We're just going to hit his wheel and get past him. Just kind of all chaos going on right there, but at least we got past. Coming out of the hairpin here, we're going to try to keep up with Perez. We're about to get DRS, so we're going to get in a slipstream, build up some speed. And then now we are just going to try to cruise on past him. And that puts us in second place right now. So our race is actually kind of starting to look a little good. So maybe a win is actually possible today. Now upcoming is where my race completely gets turned upside down as we got Verstappen going to the inside of us and we're going to try to block him and he's going to send us into the barrier and we're going to get some pretty heavy uh, wing damage there. And then we're going to have Leclerc lock up for whatever reason in front of us and that's going to deploy the safety car. And we decided to go ahead and pit and maybe try to get some of the damage fixed but nobody else pitted and for whatever reason I did not. Uh, I guess go into the pit stop options menu or whatever and select repair the damage or I don't know. So that pretty much just took us out of the race, put in last place. Uh, Verstappen, I do believe, pitted with us. But at this point, I was just like kind of done with it. So I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and just end the race in a typical stroll fashion. With all jokes aside, this was a pretty fun race, even with the unfortunate outcome as I've always loved watching the Canadian Grand Prix and then coming on to the latest F1 game and trying to see if I can be the first to check her flag as one of the most disliked drivers on the current F1 grid. But that's going to be it for me. Please drop a like if you found enjoyment in this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.